Hello everyone, El Phoenix here. This will be the last reimagined mission for now because there are no other missions which are currently public. But if you're watching this in the future, maybe you're in already, uh, maybe you are in luck already and the future missions, or at least for me currently, are already released. I know that they are already um, at least Battle 9 is in testing, Battle 10 is in um, development, but as far as I know, Angel is planning to release all the remaining missions once, not per battle, for example. But maybe that changed since uh, my information. Anyway, let's check the usual stuff. I don't see any new memorabilia apart from this medal. This medal, I think. Yeah, I always... Yes, this was it. Yesterday I forgot to show it in the classic mission. So, next one. Stats. Email. It's the same as in classic, nice little uh, flavor email. Cool, so what I know that Battle 8 was kind of a, just an update to the missions, but from Battle 9, Angel is doing, I at least that's what, uh, what he said, is a more liberate or liberal with the changes uh, so maybe it is something completely different I have no no idea let's uh, check it out the classic version I personally for whatever reason I'm not a fan of I don't say I don't like it but it's not my favorite mission um, it's in the middle anyway let's check it out Seventh fleet. Now that's completely different. With the traitor Zarin, the Emperor has commanded Vice Admiral Thrawn to establish a base of operations for the Seventh Fleet over the planet Eriadu in the Sesuera sector. Much of the Seventh Fleet has already arrived at Eriadu, and we will soon join them. But first, we must escort the Admiral from Coruscant to his new flagship, the Imperial Two-Class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf is currently waiting for the Admiral to arrive in a nearby sector along with support ships and a convoy of freighters carrying supplies and personnel for the base. You will escort the Admiral to his new flagship and keep away any potential prying eyes from Zarin's forces. Once he is aboard, the fleet will jump directly to Eriadu so the Admiral can officially take command. The Emperor has commanded... Cool, now this is something completely different. Yeah, okay. I wonder what uh, kind of an attack we will uh, be facing. No mission is just a straight up, no enemy shows up kind of mission. Yeah, okay, let's see. Traitor Zarin and his fleets continuing to run rampant across the Empire, the Emperor has commanded the newly promoted Admiral Thrawn to bring an end to this insurrection once and for all. To this end, he has given the Admiral a new base of operations over the planet Eriadu, the homeworld of the late Grand Moff Tarkin. From this base, Thrawn will command the entirety of the 7th Fleet in its operations to hunt down Zarin's forces and eradicate them. 
Thrawn himself has personally requested your transfer to his command in light of your continued exemplary service to both him and your vital role in saving the Emperor in the recent battle over Coruscant. Your first task will be to help escort the Admiral in the Victory Class Star Destroyer Stalwart from Coruscant to his new command waiting in a nearby sector, the newly commissioned Imperial II Class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf is holding station along with several support ships and a fleet of convoy ships filled with supplies and personnel for the new base. Much of the 7th Fleet is already waiting for us to arrive at Iriadu, so we should receive a warm welcome. You will be flying the TIE Defender designated Kappa-1 along with a single wingman. Though we don't expect any opposition along the way, Zarin still has huge numbers of TIE Advanced under his command and has been using them liberally to perform hit and runs on Imperial installations and ships, as well as scouting around for intel on our forces. The Admiral is trusting you to take care of any such threats. We know that Zarin still has several high-level spies within the Empire, which help give him critical intelligence on the disposition of the Empire's fleets and resources. In the coming weeks and months, the Order will be fully devoted to rooting these spies out so we can take this advantage away from him. Stay alert, be mindful, and serve the Emperor above all others. <laughs> okay, I like the, the better audio of the Secret Order guy. Ooh, Kappa. That's the first. That's the first that uh, I get a designation. Something different from Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, uh, Tau, Nu, and Mu. Was there anything else? Anyway, let's go. Cool choices. No, not really. Okay, that's a small error, but that's fine. A chef, fine. Anyway, let's go. Attempt number one. Oh, that's Corusan. We're still at Corusan. Nice. I just like this backdrop. Oh. <laughs> this is Corusan Orbital Control to Victory Class Star Destroyer Stalwart. You are cleared for jump. Good luck, Admiral. Can we have a proper defense fleet like this in every system? Star Destroyer Grey Wolf, we are standing by for your arrival. Acknowledge Grey Wolf, my transport is launching now. Capo One, please initiate your patrol around the fleet. Stargate reference. <laughs> oh no, that's an enemy. Alert. We've got contacts. Enemy tide bombs jumping in. Okay, at least they are coming from a similar direction. Let's intercept them. Just a handful of them, though. Looks like a scouting party. Hey, one! Attacking craft dead ahead. They're coming in fast from several directions. Camper one, intercept them immediately. We cannot let them get back to Zalit with any intent. Keep it up! Launching ties to assist you. Wow, nice help. Okay, at least they are now, or this one is not attacking anything. Vital, for now. Like they're all power to their engines. 
Are they doing some kamikaze? Deck or trying? Only your Thai defender can keep up with them. Those scouts are trying to scan the convoy. You must stop them. Ah. Okay, they are coming from all directions. A pair of enemy tide bombs are targeting the Admiral's transport. Intercept them at once. Okay, which one? I cannot tell. And maybe this is the first time when I should be using my beam weapon. Ah, right. Stupid chaff. Okay, at least with O I can target transport, uh, but nothing is attacking it. Okay, then let's just uh, continue dealing with the scouts. Okay, probably this was the... This is, yeah, this is a, a group which is attacking the uh, throne. No, you don't. All enemy scouts destroyed. Good work, Kappa One. Oh, how do you know that? All do you don't know that uh, there will be any more? Wait, Hashim. Aha. Uh -huh. And Marsoup, okay, those, originally those were cargo ferries and modified corvettes. What's taking so long? Okay, just uh, AI things. Can you please? Ah, uh, okay. Then let's do. Let's watch them. Do the spinny, spinny. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I have now transferred my flag to the Grey Wall. You may initiate your drums to a riot of base. It's not really consistent how uh Ariado Ariado or the, the pronunciation. <laughs> nice. Nice looking place. Grey Wolf, this is Ariado Base. We bid you welcome, Admiral. Thank you. I shall be aboard shortly. Please see to the supply convoy immediately. I do not intend to waste any time. I will make an address to the entire fleet once I am aboard. Okay. This wasn't a difficult mission. Thai Defender Kappa, please dock your craft at the Ryanu Prime. Ooh, Maruki. Hmm. We can see a lot of future crafts, I assume. Maruki definitely Ardaga. Isn't it Adarga? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Warrior. Okay, that's um Star Destroyer and um, the original X-Wing. But that's uh Imperial Cross there.
Okay, just uh, scanning all the things. I'm just curious what's here. And from the map, I don't know why, but the, the icons are missing. Or models as well. Courageous, that's also... Now, Imperial Class 2. Indomitable, Triumph, yeah. Good, <laughs> nice to see these. Okay, and I assume... Is this count as Ariadu Prime? No, it's the middle station then. Uh, not that one, but that one, right. Because this is just area to X1, which I was trying to fly into. Or land on. Okay, so I assume... No, I have no idea what kind of bonus goals, which uh, we'll see tomorrow. But I have too many missiles left so I could use more, much more missiles okay uh -huh. nice <laughs> all pilots report to debriefing all pilots report to debriefing I haven't seen this hangar yet before Looks quite different than anything before. Cool. To all personnel within the Seventh Fleet, this is Admiral Thrawn. We have successfully arrived at Araidu base and I have formally taken command. We face a difficult task ahead. The destruction of the traitor Zarin. But I have no doubt that we will be up to the task if you all perform your duties diligently and with efficiency. This will not be easy. The enemy has both a tactical and technological advantage over our forces. He has the freedom to strike when and where he pleases. He has the bulk of the Thai advanced fleet under his control. But I promise you, as I study and understand this man, this traitor to the Empire, he will not succeed. It is only a matter of time and patience. In the meantime, assignments will soon be forthcoming to all fleet personnel as we begin our operations. That is all. The Admiral wanted you to know what we will be up against so that you are under no illusions of the threat we face. We know that, according to our estimates since this coup attempt, Zarin has at least 15 Imperial class Star Destroyers, a dozen or so Victory class destroyers and interdictors, and upwards of 200 support ships, ranging from corvettes and frigates to light cruisers and carriers. Whilst this is only a fraction of the true strength of the Imperial Navy, the hundreds of TIE advanced craft in his possession and his mobility allows him to be a serious threat to the stability and security of the Empire as we witnessed with the attack in the Omar system. Our fleet cannot be everywhere at once, and to concentrate our forces in any one particular location leaves our other areas too vulnerable to attack. That's not even counting the continued threat of the Rebels, who have a substantial fleet of their own that we must also contend with. In another recent development, Zarin has also managed to capture a Tycon class battle station. This huge mobile facility can house up to a dozen Imperial class Star Destroyers at any one time, so it will likely become the nerve center of his fleet's operations as it will be crucial for maintaining and repairing his fleet as his campaign continues. Perhaps the only bit of good news here is that Zarin despises the Rebels just as much as we do, so there's little chance at least that the two sides will be working together. We have no doubt though that the Rebels at least will probably make full use of the distraction that Zarin presents our forces to carry out further acts of terrorism. As we expected, Zarin knew of Thrawn's transfer to the Grey Wolf and his assignment to Ariadu. The timing of the enemy scouting party was so precise that it only proves the level of infiltration within the Empire that Zarin still enjoys. Given the size of Thrawn's fleet, we are certain that some of these spies will be among his personnel so that he can keep close tabs on the Admiral and what he's up to. We will speak again soon. Wow, that was a long as uh, debriefing.
exhausting. But what a, what a voice without the radio uh, effect on Thrawn's voice. Wow. Phew, that's a, a lot of info. And where was this um, Tycon class battle station? I actually know how that looks like. Probably we will have to siege it or something like that. So at least in a um, few missions, I'm pretty sure we need to uh, try to attack it. Cool. This was not a, let's say, um, difficult or long or mm, eventful mission. I mean, maybe tomorrow we'll see how it can go wrong, right, better. Anyway, yeah, this was a pretty much a um, big story point of a mission. But it's cool. <laughs> so this is the direction. So uh, I hope Angel, you are not you are planning to have uh, more missions and uh, battles, upcoming battles than before. Like uh, it was the same number or one or two less than the classic. Now it will be more than classic. Okay, <laughs> I'm just guessing. I don't know, or I don't remember. Maybe Angel already... No, I know that Angel already publicized how many missions he wants, but I didn't want to spoil myself with the mission names and things like that. <laughs> anyway, that's it. See you in the next one.